Hello YouTube, I'm Fabio Mandrile and in this video I will present you my PhD activity about next generation inverters equipped with virtual synchronous compensator for grid services and grid support. But first, something about me. I'm currently an assistant professor at the Politecnico di Torino after having defended my PhD in January this year. Before my PhD, I got my bachelor and master degree in electrical engineering at the Politecnico di Torino, but during my education uh, period, I spent uh, one and a half year abroad, uh, first in Germany during my master and then in Denmark during my PhD. I consider my PhD achievements, the 19 publications I co-authored, the two industrial awards I got, the three power converter prototypes I realized, and the more than 10 theses I co-supervised during my PhD. My PhD research topic is about integrating renewable energy sources into the grid. In fact, in the past, the power system relied on synchronous alternators only which were producing electricity from non-renewable sources such as coal. They were programmable, they were providing mechanical inertia thanks to the uh, mechanical rotor, and they were generating a sinusoidal voltage due to their me electromechanical construction. Tomorrow, we will uh, shift towards uh, converter-based production, such as from the sun or from the wind, which is, uh, on the other hand, not programmable, depending on the weather, it doesn't have mechanical inertia because, for example, solar panels don't have moving parts. And uh, since it's based on inverters, it features uh, switching harmonics. Therefore, there may be power system stability issues with large share of renewables integrated into the grid. So the question is how to provide grid ancillary services to guarantee such stability using static converters. And here comes the concept of virtual synchronous machine or VSM. Basically, we use a traditional inverter structure for interfacing renewable energy sources and with the same power electronic hardware, just by control means, so with a modified control algorithm, we can implement some functionalities which are synchronous generator-like, in particular virtual inertia, so the mechanical emulation, reactive support during faults, and also harmonic compensation. In total, this leads to the simplified virtual synchronous compensator or SVSC that I developed during my PhD. Let's have a look inside SVSC. We have a current control converter interface to the grid. Its references come from the SVSC model. This model is divided in several blocks. First, the mechanical part, which implements a simplified swing equation. Then the excitation control, which is in charge of the reactive power channel. Finally, the virtual windings implemented on the DQ axis, which uh, interface the excitation control and provide electromechanical damping. These windings operate as a virtual impedance, therefore generating the harmonic compensation references. And now let's see the SVSC in action. First of all, the inertial effect. We applied a frequency drop with a grid emulator and the SVSC is injective active power to support the grid frequency. Then we emulated voltage dips. For example, this 10% voltage dip, as you can see from the positive voltage envelopes. And the SVSC injects short circuit currents with a decaying time constant, which depends on the parameters of the excitation control. Of course, the current has to be limited to comply to the inverter ratings, which are very different from the overload capabilities of synchronous machines. Finally, we prove the harmonic compensation capabilities by injecting a fifth harmonic distortion. As soon as the SVSC is turned on, this distortion is compensated and the voltage shape improves a lot. Drawing some conclusions, we have seen that a high penetration of renewable energy sources will affect the grid stability. Therefore, future grid tight converters will be required to provide ancillary services, such as virtual inertia. The proposed SVSC can improve the behavior of such converters. My PhD contributions include the SVSC model operating as an add-on to enhance the behavior of grid tight converters and simplified converter models to further study the stability and interaction of multiple virtual generators at system level. That would be all from my side. Thank you for your attention.